about John Lennon around the world. He looked like John Lennon. Well, that kind of helps, doesn't it? It's just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, why are we here today? We're here today because, as we all know, it's the 50th anniversary of the Beatles playing the Ed Sullivan Show on a Sunday night. And uh, we were the first ones probably 14 years ago to play here in front of Capitol Records, commemorating, at the time, unfortunately, it was the anniversary of John's death. But uh, Morley and I, uh, we just returned from Cancun, Mexico. We were with Morris Juber, who played with Paul McCartney and Wings, Danny Sywell, the original drummer for Wings, and Pete Best, the original drummer for the Beatles. And we all gathered in Cancun, Mexico at the Hard Rock Cafe for a Super Beatles weekend. And we were the featured performers uh, on Thursday night? Thursday night. Now, Mr. Bartnoff here was also with a guy you might know named Chris Carter. Yeah, well, Chris Carter so, well, that, uh, took me to see Tim play on Hollywood Boulevard. And it was a show called One Night Only. And it was such an amazing show, and somehow a year later I wound up being in the show. So. And we so, toured the world now. So tell me, uh, 50 years ago, did we ever think that uh, watching these four guys play at the Ed Sullivan show would be remembered like this? Well, as, as you know, as the world knows, it was like four aliens descended upon Earth. Uh, here's these guys with long hair for then, androgynous clothing, and basically saying you don't have to grow up and join the army. You know, you can pick up a guitar and spread the word, and the word was long. And here we are. 50 years later. 50 years later. 50 years and counting. Right. And we've got a song called The Shot Heard Around the World, which uh, commemorates the anniversary of the Ed Sullivan Show, which has already pl been played on Chris Carter's Records with the Beatles today. And Little Stevens Underground Garage. On Sirius Radio. And Rodney Bingenheimer tonight. will play it tonight on his first ever Beatles special. So we're here to sing that song. Great. Thank you. <laughs> They, I'm the third they all got, this is my brother Greg, he's a bass player, the group's musical director and all around rock and roll Please. fanatic. Beatle fan, number one. There you go. Yeah, all that cool.